so the first step is to head onto this website and then go down below the download options and then download the 10 files and now you wait for the disk image to download so once you have downloaded the file from the internet then you will have to extract the files once it's extracted then you need to open the folder and then there's gonna be a disk image you'll have to open this to explore the files so that you can execute the the setup you'll need a program like power ISO or something like that to explore bin files so these are the contents of the disk and you can extract them somewhere the thing is that if you mount the disk uh, the auto run will run but it won't let you install the game so you better do this first so now we have the contents of the disk like this and then you run the setup that X So it took a while, but now we're in, so you have to like click next and stuff like that, and then choose the destination folder and stuff. I don't know if it's gonna take a while to load this, but it took me a while. You have to be patient. Well, we don't need to check for updates, right? So we close this, register later, next, and well, we're not gonna launch Half-Life yet. The thing is that this game was supposed to be a beta build for testers, so it won't run that easily so if we try to run the app from where we just install it's gonna throw up this message your version of half-life beta has expired so in order for us to make it work we have to change the hour and date so we have to establish and set a manual date and time and we're gonna have to go back to 19, 1998 and October as far as I know this software was made so that if it was run later than some established date it would not run so 
we're gonna have to do this workaround so that it actually runs. So we try to run it, but then we might get this message. So, well, this one's easier as all we need to do is just run a virtualization software like Power ISO and then that's where we're going to mount our uh, CD, our Half-Life CD. So you're going to have to like choose the image and mount it virtually here and then finally we'll be able to run the game. So there we have it. I don't know if it, it's just me, but this um, multiplayer thing doesn't work for me. Also, I know that I couldn't really run the game if I didn't set the video mode to OpenGL. So I had to do this. And I chose this resolution because the other ones were, well, buggy. And yeah, so um, there's this option, which was not on the original version, I think. And well, everything else looks pretty much the same. So as long as you've set the video mode onto OpenGL, you're ready. You're ready to go. So yeah, you can like hit the hazard first or a new game. There it is. Good morning, and welcome to the Black Mesa Transit System. This automated train is provided for the security and convenience of the Black Mesa Research Facility personnel. You can bring up the console with the same key we've all been using. You can, like, use cheats. So yeah, enjoy the game.